are finally back with another round of my entire makeup collection inventory. <laughs> this has turned out to take much longer than I ever expected. <laughs> this is Let's Break It Down, my entire makeup collection part five. <laughs> decided to just kind of combine all of my base products into one and that's what this part five is going to be all about. everybody if you're new here hi thanks for stopping by welcome to the family my name is Rose I'm a girl boss on a no buy who loves to save money and project pan today's video is part five of my makeup inventory I have four other parts to this series, three of them being my eyeshadow palette collection alone. Of course, I will list the playlist to what I have so far up for you guys in the cards. You definitely want to go check it out. I have my lipstick collection and my eyeshadow palette collection up already. Those are the two biggest numbers that I have out of my entire collection. The rest of my collection as a whole is big numbers to me as well. So this episode, part five, is consisting of all of my base products. And I don't want the videos to be too drawn out. So I was able to put three parts in this video, which is my primer inventory, my foundation inventory, and my concealer inventory. And then we will just kind of keep this moving along until we have reached the end of my entire makeup collection as a whole. Doing inventory is so necessary and it has been such an eye-opening experience for me. It has been the reason why I went Went from a one year no buy to a two year no buy now. I will also link that video in the cards for you guys if you're interested in checking out why the reasons and the rules and stuff I've set for myself on this two year no buy that I am on. Definitely want to go check it out. I won't keep you guys too long. Let's just go ahead and hop right on in and we will do a part five with all of my base products right now. <laughs> Okay, so these are all my primers. I figured we would start off with the primers and try to just go accordingly to how I would do my makeup. These are all of my primers that I currently own and the count is 23 minus one so far I've decluttered. And that is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. I have recently decluttered this. I know this is a lot of people's favorite, but it is just far too silicone-y for my preference. It was the first one to go and get decluttered from my collection, which I'm actually quite proud of. I even put it in a project. It was in my Go For The Goal, and I tried to use it to that line, and I obviously didn't make it, so I have recently come to the decision to declutter it. And then I have this NYX Angel Veal is a really nice primer. I really enjoy this primer. The Catrice one is really nice. Of course, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer is a great primer this is in my beauty a to z i just put it in there so i will be working on this for this year same with the catrice prime and fine they say that both of these are a dupe for the tatcha but i don't feel that this one is really necessarily a dupe as much as the elf one i had this in my 12 pans of christmas set the goal to hit pan i hit pan but this is also another one that i may be decluttering in the future just because it's not my favorite it's just too silicone -y. i prefer a more hydrating absorption pore filling maybe type primer illuminating primers speaking of which 
This e.l.f. glow lotion is like my ride or die. This is probably my fourth tube of this. I go through these like crazy. I really enjoy these. I love to put it on. Sometimes I'll use another primer, but even though it says it's a glow lotion, it works as a primer. It's like, what does a primer really do anyways? <laughs> And then this Essence Prime and Studio is currently in my Significant Other Project Pan. My hubby actually picked this out for me. And then the Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating and Smoothing is a really nice primer. This is kind of ones that are more my preference in hydrating to the skin. And then NYX Pore Filler is another good one that fills in the pores. I have Stick One, the Master Stick, which I don't really use this too often. This Sephora one is a luminizer. The Rimmel Stay Matte, I use a lot in the summertime. When I do get more oily, it was a great absorption primer. And then a little Milk Mini, a little Tatcha Mini, a little Dior Backstage Mini is really nice, but I'm not using that. I saved it to use it in conjunction with the little Dior Mini foundation that I got, which is my Summer Shade. This is another great pore filling one. The NYX Pores Be Gone. So those are currently all of my primers. It was a total count of 23 minus the touch and sole giving me a total of 22 for my primer inventory and these will essentially get used up rather quickly at the little ones so that will bring me down to at least 17 16 somewhere around there and I will continue working on these numbers these are all of my current inventory and foundations I know it's a lot you guys <laughs> all the more reason why I decided to do a two-year no buy because my total count of what you see here including minis and samples now I didn't break down and count like my sample products as one two three I just counted each packet of a samples as one. So including each individual sample packets, I have a total of 40 foundations. 40! Who needs 40 foundations? Not me, not this girl. I don't know how it got to be this bad, but here we are. <laughs> So I'm really excited to see how well I will do on the two years that I am not going to be buying any makeup as far as using and seeing how many of these I can use up. Now granted, I know I will never be able to use 40 of these in two years, but I can probably knock off at least a couple. But I also got to mention that I have decluttered three of these, so that brings me down to 37. And the ones I decluttered was the Tarte. Can't see you guys. So I really hope that you guys are in focus and you can see the product. Like compared to my primer video, I was way up here and I do apologize. I think this will be just about right. So I decluttered this little mini Tarte found sealer just because it is far too dark for me. It is even too dark in the summer when I get a really nice tan, which is another reason why I have so many, you know, and why you see duplicates like two light illusions two healthy formulas, two infallibles, two of these, two of these, because I change dramatically in skin color from winter to summer. So I have to have a summer shade and I have to have a winter shade because of the dramatic change. So as you can see, you know, each one that I have duplicates of is a darker one and there's a lighter one. But I decluttered this one and I decluttered this Maybelline Dream BB Fresh BB Cream just because I never wear it. So I got rid of that. And then the last one that I decluttered recently was, it's not shown here, but it was my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. 
So that was counted on my total inventory numbers on my list here. But since I have decluttered it, I'm subtracting those numbers, obviously. So that brings me down to 37. We still got a ways to go, you guys. <laughs> but I will just go over a couple of the ones that are my absolute favorite. Starting with the, I really hope you guys are in focus, the Lori or the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. I absolutely love this foundation. It is such a luminous, lightweight, sheer to medium coverage. You know, it is buildable, but I prefer definitely a more medium to light coverage. The CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir is currently in my Beauty A to Z. So I am really hoping to get this finished up this year because it is a year long project. This is a really great foundation as well. Very healthy, give you a healthy appearance, not full coverage. It's more medium to buildable coverage. Really great foundation there. Of course, the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear is a lot of people's favorite. This foundation is absolutely beautiful. It is definitely buildable. You could build this to full coverage easily. I'm so sorry if my video and I'm kind of all over the place and you're having a hard time seeing the products. Just bear with me. I don't have a way to see you guys, but I think I'm doing okay. We'll see. <laughs> The CYO is a really great for foundation as well. This is another, you know, healthy, youthful appearance on the skin. Very light to buildable. Just gives you that glowy appearance that I absolutely love. I have a couple stick foundations over here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible foundation stick and this is very similar to their other infallible line with the fresh wear as you can see i also have two colors of that as well so it's a really nice foundation stick i don't mind sticks every so often this is the makeup revolution stick foundation i've had this for a couple years this is my summer shade but you just got to use a brush when you use stick foundation a blender just doesn't do the greatest of job at blending them out. So I, if you do want to use stick, I like them. They're easy and they're convenient and they're less messy. I highly recommend you use a brush. And then of course, this is a lot of people's favorite, the Maybelline Super Stay. This I'm not a fan of just because it is a far too full coverage for me. I don't like to look like I'm wearing makeup. This definitely makes it look like I'm wearing a mask and you can tell that I'm wearing makeup when I wear this. So once I finish getting all the rest of my inventory videos up for you guys, I will then go back and we are going to do declutter videos and I'm going to try to declutter with you guys and get these numbers dropped down even more. But I just wanted to let you guys know up front that this is going to be one of the items I am going to be decluttering in the future. Just wanted to put that out there. I'm also trying to decide on how I should go about my declutter videos, you guys. If you have any suggestions, let me know because this video will go up first and this is gonna be my primers and foundations and concealers like inventory part four because of my eyeshadow palette series I have already up for you guys. I will link it in the cards for you. And then I have my lipsticks up already, which will also be in the cards. If you want to go check those out to see how many eyeshadow palettes I have and lipsticks, that's a lot. <laughs> So then moving on down the line with primers, foundations, and concealers will go up next. In this video, would somebody please comment down below and let me know, do you think that I should declutter as I'm doing my inventory videos, like pull stuff that I don't necessarily want or doesn't bring me joy anymore? You know, I've decided in the new year, it is a new year that... If products are no longer bringing me joy or I know I'm not going to use them in my heart of hearts, I have decided to start decluttering and letting things go. I'm just trying to figure out how to go about doing it for you guys. Or should I do a, just a separate video and then declutter? So just let me know in the video. Should I do it while I'm doing inventory or do it another separate video 
for solely decluttering. I think that's probably the way. Logistically, it makes sense to do. It's just I'm lazy and then I know I have to pull everything back out again to do the declutter, but we'll get there, you guys. Thank you so much for following me along on this journey. Anyways, I'm sorry. Back to the foundation. Of course, I just got recently for one of my gift cards for Christmas, the IT CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. This is a lot of people's holy grail and I really do enjoy this. It is very light on the skin, it is buildable, and it is actually really, really nice. The NYX Born to Glow is another great foundation, hence why I own two of them. Pro Glow, you guys already know, that's my jam. This is the Maybelline Urban Dream Cover, really nice foundation. I just haven't used it too much because it is kind of like my middle shade from where I'm transitioning from summer to winter or from winter to summer. So this one kind of gets neglected a lot. <laughs> NYX Bear With Me Summer and Winter Shades. And then I have the Aqua Insurance from JCat Beauty. And this is my palest of pale shades for the winter. It is a pressed compact foundation, which I don't own too many of these. But as you can see, even it's winter right now. I mean, it blends in pretty nice, but it's just a little too light for me, which is such a shame because it is really creamy and buildable but as you can see this is also the only like compact foundation that I own the rest is all liquids and creams if this wasn't really too light on me I probably would enjoy it and use it because it is easy and quick and convenient which is why I got it to begin with I just haven't used it too much so yeah we decluttered three one of them's not listed and we are going to be decluttering the fourth which is the super stay and then lastly i'll show you is the revolution conceal and hydrate i purchased this in the summer just before i started my low buy and which by the way if you don't know i am on a two-year no buy i just started it at the first of the year obviously for very good reason and then i have a couple minis over here this is the abh the Lu the luminous dewy foundation that they came out with sample and a little sample of the born this way bb creams and yeah so those are all my foundations total count minus the three right now is 37 minus the super stay which is coming up next on the chopping block will bring me down to 36 and then when we move forward and we do more declutter videos, we will get that number drop down more. Okay, and this is all my concealers for my current inventory, which I have a total count of 31 concealers that you see here. I know it's a bit ridiculous. Again, all my categories are high which is all the more reason why i started a two-year no buy in my mind it's hard for me because i always feel like i need two of everything again with the concealers same with foundations i feel like i need to have one summer shade which is the darker shades and i always need one winter shade because my skin color does change drastically from winter to summer but still even if I had one summer shade and one winter shade. I still don't need 31 concealers, <laughs> maybe four. <laughs> one of each shade that is my favorite and then one of each shade as a backup, you know? So this are, these are numbers that I'm going to start working on and trying my best to get down. I will state, however, I have recently decluttered three of these, and that's being one of the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealers in the shade 104. The reason I decluttered this is because it is far too yellow of an undertone for me, so that one is gone. And then I'm also wanting to declutter. The reason I said three is because I want to do two more on top of the BH Cosmetics one right now with you guys. And that's going to be the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Peach. Just because, again, this is far too dark for me. 
I did have this in my Go For The Goal project pan and I really struggled with it just because it was too dark for me. I set the goal to use it halfway or to that line. I got it right above that line and I ended up rolling it out. Oh, and I also decluttered one of my age rewinds, which is what brought my number down. I'm over here looking at my notes, trying to figure out how I got my number from 31 to 28. And I'm looking at the ones I crossed off and I see it was my age rewind in the shade neutralizer I got rid of because it was too yellow again of an undertone and then I kept the light pale one I don't have the neutralizer no more because I got rid of it and then I also got rid of one of my L'Oreal and top full wear concealers in the shade cashmere because it was far too dark as well so I just got to learn to let go. But again, this is going back to what I mentioned in my foundations inventory. I'm definitely going to start decluttering some things. But yeah, I did want to mention I'm decluttering that one because it is just far too dark. Even in my darkest color in the summer, I can't use it. And I'm also going to declutter this Morphe concealer. This is one of their older formulas. It's actually really nice, but it's too dark, as you can tell. I mean, even up against my arm, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> and this is in the shade honey so I'm decluttering that right now like I said again if you guys want to see declutter videos I will hold on to my declutters and that's what I'm doing everything I've decluttered so far I'm holding on to it to save it for a declutter video so I will hold on to these and we will go over it again in my actual declutters videos so the only one that has been the newest one that has gotten brought into my collection since I did my inventory posts over on my Instagram, because I did my inventory at the end of last year in December. So the only new one from those posts is the Jeffree Star Concealer. This was gifted to me. It came when my husband bought me the Jawbreaker palette. This came, he bought me a concealer as well. He'd been knowing I've been wanting to try this so freaking sweet but i have yet to even open it this is in the shade c5 and i haven't even tried it yet i guess i don't want to open it because i have all of these other ones i mean granted not all of these are opened either but i know once you open it it will go bad faster and since i already have so many others open i'm just afraid to open and use it yet so we'll see i want to try to at least to get out and use up three of the ones that I currently have open before I use that. And what I'm very close to being done with using is one of my liquid camouflage concealers from Catrice. This is actually a really nice concealer and this has been in my 12 pans of Christmas. I set the goal to use this up and I just didn't get that far. So I didn't meet my goal on the project for it. And for whatever reason, it worked beautifully all the way up until the very end of it, which you can kind of see in there. It's a little less than the line even. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's because it's getting older or it's because it's getting empty and, and lower like that. It started to really settle in my fine lines and I just, it made me look older. So I've really been struggling with it. So I may possibly declutter this one as well. I think I'm going to try to use it a couple more times. And if it continues to do what it was doing, I'm going to declutter it because obviously I have a whole other tube here. <laughs> that I've been using as well. This Catrice One Drop Liquid Coverage is actually a really, really nice concealer and it really is. One drop will conceal your whole under eye all the way to your freaking ears. So a little goes such a long way with this. This is in the shade 03 Porcelain. I really enjoy this. This is in my Beauty A to Z project. I also have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Concealer, which is also in my Beauty A to Z project. The Bare Skin Complete Liquid Coverage Serum. This is, you guys, a really, really good concealer. I absolutely love this. If you are a little bit more older and have more mature under eyes, I recommend this over any of these for more mature under eyes with fine lines and everything. It just blends out perfectly and it conceals beautifully and it doesn't settle into your fine lines. 
Also, the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer is really nice. They say it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. It does have the big wand-like Tarte Shape Tape, but it's a totally different formula. I actually prefer this over the Tarte Shape Tape. And I have two shades of this, one in my winter shade of porcelain, and then the other is in my summer shade of buff beige. And then, of course, the Tarte Shape Tape I got, and then I own the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is self-setting concealer, which I do like to use this on days when I don't have a bunch of time to set my under eyes. And I don't set them on all the time just because the powder enhances the lines and I know to make sure to blend it so it doesn't settle in your fine lines. So I like to use this on days where I'm not going to set it because it sets itself. This is in the shade 11, really nice concealer. The Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer is also really nice. I mean, I really do enjoy most of these concealers, and I have a couple samples over here. The YSL All Hours Concealer, I have yet to try that. This is in my Beauty A to Z as well, since it is a year-long project, even though I have cup three concealers in it, just as I'm running it off with you guys. <laughs> And then the Makeup Revolution. These are all really great concealers. The e.l.f. Camo. I have two of those. I have two of the Fit Me's. We are just going to see how far and how much I can get these numbers down. And then, of course, at the beginning of next year, I will do more makeup inventory videos. Let me know if you guys are interested in these types of videos. And we will keep this as a series over here. Those are all my current concealers, giving me a count of 28. And once I do my declutter videos, we will get it lessened even more. So as you can see, that was all of my primers, so foundations, and concealers. To me, it is a large number in each category so far. And like I said, moving forward, it's going to be large numbers in every category. But by far, my most problem area in categories is definitely eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks. But still, even with the numbers that you just saw with primers and foundations and concealers is too high. So while I'm on this no buy for the next two years, I am going to see how well I can bring these numbers down. And of course, next year and January of next year, as long as I'm able to keep the cards lined right, I will do an inventory series again each year and seeing how well I can bring these numbers down to size. I am very excited. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I will be back with a part six coming very soon. But until then, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, everybody enjoy the rest of their day. Bye.